Why is it that people are so goddamn miserable? Have you ever wondered that? I mean, like I've actually thought for a lot of my 20s, what is the number one thing that make people so miserable on a daily basis? And what I think is that we spend 10 hours a day at jobs we hate, trying to just pay our bills to exist on a piece of land to do more things we hate that are chores and responsibilities. And yet, most of us never take the time to commit to actually truly finding work we love. Now in this video, I wanna share the three questions and the three principles that helped me find my passion and the work that I really love. And the first principle is to really follow your excitement. And it's funny because as kids, we always knew this principle, right? It's the most natural thing kids do. Kids are not spending their time intellectualizing and philosophizing. Well, if I do this job, what is my salary going to be? And how are the prospects going to be in the next 25 years in 2025? And they don't do that. They just do the things they like. They follow their excitement. Like there is such a thing as a natural inclination. And when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time playing outside and studying medicinal herbs, reading about like Native American shamans and Celtic shamans, shamans all around the world and these mystics and these holy people. That was my real obsession. I was really obsessed with learning about medicine, natural medicine and mysticism. And so it's not surprising the field I ended up in now where I confuse all of my interests into one. But as a kid, I didn't do work I loved even as an adult because I ignored that the thing that gave me energy that I liked, and instead I was just forcing myself to do things because I had to pay my rent, or this is what my parents wanted, or this is what I should do. But if you follow the thing that excites you, that will often naturally lead you there. Now the second question and habit was, what are the valuable skills I can start acquiring today, even if this work is not my passion? And the habit I did was this idea of stacking the bricks. Now I've shared Will Smith's story here behind the concept of stacking the bricks. But for me, you know, when I was 23, when I got back from China, 23, 24, I became a personal trainer, even though I knew that was not my passion. I got a marketing job, even though that was not my passion. I got all these other admin jobs, working at a startup, consulting, all these things I knew I did not love and did not want to do five years from now. But they each gave me a very key and valuable skill set. Each one gave me a useful principle. And at the very least, if you're testing out all these things, you're gonna learn what you don't like. But for me, the most important thing was, as a personal trainer, I learned the fundamentals of personal training. I learned how to coach people. And then when I brought my business online, I learned how to write blog content, then how to shoot videos, how to write, publish, and market books, how to create online courses, how to become a better coach. The fundamentals of business, of traffic, of sales and marketing, all these things that I was not interested in. but. I knew that if I acquired valuable skills today, then I knew that these would come back and help me in the future. I'm a firm believer that every valuable skill you acquire increases your odds of success later. Because guess what? Never in a million years did I think I'd be doing a doctorate in Chinese medicine now when I'm in my early 30s. You know, never in a million years. And yet, you know what's helped me so much? The fact that I acquired every little business skill because now I'm graduating with this much student debt as opposed to this much student debt that will cripple most of my classmates and my friends, my colleagues. So all those skills now have come to the point where I can build my brand online around Chinese medicine also, which is something that 99% of practitioners don't have. The third principle is what could I start doing in just a few hours per day or one hour per day? And the habit was to stop wasting time. Now there's this concept that 30 is the new 20 because of how long lived people are but it's bullshit guys. 30 is not the new 20. Like you are aging every single day. And before you know it, if you're 20, you're going to be 30. If you're 30, you're going to be 40. It's going to happen whether or not you want it to. And I find that so many people end up wasting all these hours because they think that it takes so much time to change their life, to study something, to get a new job. But all the stuff I've done here happen in less than three hours per day. So if you get off your work at five, you have basically till six until midnight, let's say. You have six hours. You spend half of that building a better future. I spent three hours per day building my entire company, writing five books, 
studying how to find my passion and moving to the West Coast to do my doctorate in Chinese medicine. I wrote the five books, built my YouTube channel to multiple hundreds of thousands of subscribers, created five or 10 products. Like all of this has happened just in three hours per day or less. It doesn't take 12 hours a day to change your life. It just takes one to begin. So I hope those three principles help. I know there's a lot of other questions in finding your passion and work you love. It's very complicated, right? It's not so simple as a three-part checklist to find your passion. It doesn't work like that. It's a messy, nonlinear road. But I hope that helps. 